Most of us can remember those last desperate days of the fall of Saigon, Vietnam. We can remember the pictures of American helicopters rescuing people from the roofs of buildings to take them to places of safety. We remember the desperation of the people. And now we find it's happening all over again, this time in Kabul, Afghanistan. And it's very personal. Just a few moments ago, a young fellow came in and was sitting here talking to me, crying. He was desperate. I was filming him, but I can't show it because he's afraid the Taliban will kill his wife and children. And his wife and children are on the airport at Kabul. They're trying to get to a place of safety. This young fella, although he's been in Australia for almost a decade, right, has the wrong visa. And because he has the wrong visa, his family is not allowed to come here. This man is running around and around and around, desperate for help. He's been to the authorities, which tell him no. He's been to the police, he's been to all the different people asking for help. And they have all said no. He is crying in, in, the, in the chair there, crying and asking for help, desperate to get his family and loved ones to a place of safety. The young child is sick. Imagine the mother with the children. She can't go home because the Taliban have wrecked their house. They are desperate to find somewhere safe. What we are seeing is what happened in Vietnam and we have not learned the lessons of that time.